Physics Saga. I'm Angela, and this is Karen Beer. And behind the camera is a TC. Now I'll be introducing you Newton's first and second law. The first law states that an object at rest will want to stay in rest until an external force acts upon it. Let's take a look at this pebble. This pebble is at rest and will continue to stay at rest unless an external force acts upon it. This is because the forces acting upon this pebble are equal and they're cancelling each other out, which results in zero acceleration. Newton's second law states that an object's direction of force will equal the object's direction of acceleration. So when a force is applied to an object that is at rest, the forces acting on this object are no longer equal. This will result in acceleration. So let's look at our pebble. It's at rest because the forces acting on it are canceling each other out. So there is no acceleration as I previously said. So now let's see what happens when I apply a force. As you saw, the pebble accelerated forward. This is because when I applied the force onto the pebble, the forces acting upon the pebble were no longer equal. The pebble thus accelerated in the direction of the unequal force, which is Newton's second law. Not on to the third law. The third law states, for every action, there is an equal and opposite reaction. To display this law, I will once again use our pebble. When I roll this pebble across the floor, it will remain in motion until it hits the wall. When the pebble makes contact with the wall, it will apply an applied force onto the wall. The wall will apply the same amount of force on the pebble in the opposite direction. This is the reason why the pebble recoils. On to the second concept. The second concept is energy. This is my trusty pebble. I take it with me everywhere. And in this pebble there is energy. And the energy in this pebble always remains the same unless work is done to it. And this type of energy is known as mechanical energy. While standing on the ground with my pebble, I will, uh, the both of us will have low gravitational energy due to our distance from the ground. But if our distance from the ground was to increase, our gravitational energy was to increase as well. The gravitational energy of my pebble and I has increased greatly due to the increased distance from the floor. I wonder what would happen to the gravitational energy of my pebble if I were to drop it into my amazing friend Karen Beer's hands. What would happen, Angela? Well, Karen Beer, the energy, the gravitational energy of the pebble would be converted into kinetic energy. Kinetic energy is the energy contained in an object due to its motion and the object would clearly be in motion as it's released from my hands into yours. We'll be examining is sound, but more specifically, resonance. Resonance occurs because of natural frequency. Natural frequency is the frequency at which a system vibrates but not subjected to a continuous external force. An object vibrating at the same natural frequency of the second object forces the second object to vibrate. This is resonance. This vibration is called sympathetic vibration. The most common example of resonance in the real world is, is the wine glass and singer scenario. The singer would create sound waves using her voice that would match the wine glass's natural frequency. When the wine glass comes in contact with the, the singer's sound waves, um, the wine glass would start vibrating until it would crack. Another common example involves a swing. A swing is like a pendulum. Similarly to the pendulum, the swing has its own natural frequency. If the swing becomes exposed to waves with the same natural frequency... Here we have Angela on the swing. She's a swing of a very specific natural frequency. If I push Angela the same frequency of the natural frequency, even a small amount of applied force could induce a very large motion. So let's try this out. Oh, I do. Okay. Yeah. 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 Okay
promotion, but if I were to... <laughs> if I were to push her at a frequency that was not the same, that was not identical to her natural frequency, she would not go this high.